<laughs> All right. What? Is there a scary one where we should look at one like that? All right. So first, um, we'll go ahead and say negative 3e to the 2x minus 5.4 equals 11.6 equals negative 11.6. Should give you something that's actually going to work. No, I just made it up. Hold on, hold on. It might get brighter. Brighter. Might get brighter. There we go. Okay. Is that, is that all right? Is that okay? Zoom in? Uh-huh. Okay. So, what should I do first? Divide by negative 3 so that uh, the variable is in the exponent. We can't get to it right now. So the first thing we ask ourselves is, is there anything I could add or subtract to the other side? There's nothing because the stuff is like trapped in the exponent. So then I say, okay, is there anything I can multiply or divide to the other side? And there is, it's the negative three. I can divide it over to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and end up with E to the 2X minus 5.4 equals. And when I do negative 11.6 divided by negative three, I'm just... It's going to get 11.6 over 3. I'm going to leave it like that. It's so beautiful already, isn't it? What a wonderful problem. All right, how do I get rid of an E? I LN, or you could think log base E each side. Would you guys rather write LN each side, or do you want to write log base E to start? LN? Okay, so I'm going to LN the left side and LN the right side. And so the ln and the e cancel, and I'm left with 2x minus 5.4 equals ln of 11.6 over 3. So I multiplied or divided something to the other side. I dealt with my kind of exponent issue. Now I'm getting to the inside of what the parentheses would have been, which is like the inside of the um, exponent. And now I just have to do the order of operations that I know are important when you're solving. So do I deal with the 2 first or the 5.4? 5.4. So I'm going to add it to the other side. 2x equals ln of 11.6 over 3 with a plus 5.4 on the end. Okay, and then what do I do? Divide by 2. So it's a pretty, a, a, I can talk. I swear I can talk, you guys. It's a pretty <laughs> crazy looking answer, but that's, that's what it is right there. And we can go ahead and type it in, make sure it works. See if the light will do better now. Give it a second. There we go. Huh? Huh? You can see. Okay, so I have alpha y equals, I'm going to go ahead and type this in as a fraction. I have ln of 11.6 divided by 3 with a plus 5.4 on the end, and then all of that's being divided by 2. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and store this as X. Do you guys remember how to do that? So S T O S O. Uh, thank you for the laugh. I appreciate it. Alpha. I'm going to save this as X alpha X. Yep. I'm saving it. I'm saving it as alpha X. It's going to be a real good video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original problem. I'm going to type in negative three. E, anyone know where the E button is? Yeah, second LN. LN. Second LN, 2X minus 5.4. And when I press equal, that should be negative 11.6 because we did that problem correctly. Wasn't that fun? Look how, look how great we did with checking our answers. So I'm going to say X is approximately... 
3.376. I'm all done with that one. Okay, let's do another one. Negative one third times 15 to the. Hmm. 11 minus 6p plus 4 equals 1. You guys like that problem? Could you tell I was making it up as I went? <laughs> oh. <laughs> my friends have commented that the longer I've taught, the weirder my laugh has gotten. <laughs> because so often it's like for an effect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Oh, that made it worse. It's so shiny because of the pencil. We're just going to go back and forth with the lights. Yeah, just give it a second. And Okay. Uh, it's, it's just when the light is adjusting. I can't make it do that. It just does it. All right. So what should I do first? Subtract the 4 over the other side because we always look to see if there's something we could easily add or subtract. So when I subtract the 4 over, what do I get? All right, so equals negative three. Okay, then what do I do? Yeah, so you can divide by the fraction if you want, but a lot of students get confused when they do that. So I would multiply both sides by negative three because a negative one third times a negative three is gonna get rid of it. So I'm just gonna say times negative three times negative three. So negative three times negative one third, those cancel. So I get 15, 11 minus 6p equals 9. And now I'm trying to get into the exponent, and I have to get rid of the 15. And how do I get rid of a base of 15? I log it. What type of log? A log base 15. I log base 15 it. That's a, that's a mouthful. So log base 15 and base 15 cancel. And I get 11 minus 6p equals log base 15 of 9. Okay. And then what do I do? I minus the 11. So negative 6p equals log base 15 of 9 minus 11. Can I combine like terms with the 9 and the 11? No. If you need to put of 9 to remind yourself of that, that's not a bad idea. It will look like that when you type it in your calculator anyway. Okay. So the 9 is the thing that got logged. The 11 did not get logged. It was after that. Okay. Then what do I do? All right. Divide by negative 6. So P equals log base 15 of 9 minus 11 divided by negative 6. Those of you with old calculators, I would type in just the top first. Press equals, then type in the negative 6. Divide by. Okay. Those of you with old calculators, got it? Got it? Okay. Uh, those of you new calculator people, let's go ahead and type this in. So I'm going to hit uh, alpha y equals, and I'm going to go math up, up, log base 15 of 9 minus 11 divided by negative 6. Oop, not plus anything. There we go. Okay, 1.698. Did we get that? All right, I'm just going to make sure that I got it. So I'm going to go ahead and store this. I'll store it as P. And then my original problem was negative one third times 15 to the 11 minus 6 P plus 4. You hit, when the decimal is still on your screen, 
So when this is what's on your screen, you hit the store button down here and it says answer goes to, and then you just choose a letter. Yeah, okay. So then I'm typing in the problem exactly the way it was written to start with, and it equals one, and it was supposed to equal one, and so we got it right. Yeah. Oh, isn't it nice when that happens? Yeah. Love it when I get problems right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's nice when they work out. Yeah, all right. Um. So I think, is that okay for examples? Just making sure we're warmed up. Okay. I do want to draw your attention to number five, because I think if we don't look at number five, some of us will be like, what is going on there? It's crazy. Daryl, ruining the punchline. Lion. I said lion. Not punchline. I said punch lion. I am on a, I am on a roll today. So we are going to look at our purple charts. And on the purple chart, we are looking for 216, 216, and 36. So what do you guys see on the purple, the purple chart? Six. So the top is six to the third. The bottom is six to the third to the negative 3n. The right side is... 6 to the second to the negative 2n minus 2. Okay. Do not write this down. Just look up at the board, okay? Do not write this down. If I gave you x to the seventh over x to the third, what would that equal? x to the fourth, and what did you do with the exponents? U minus, right? So we are going to say if I want to rewrite this problem, I'm going to have 6 to the third, that's the top minus, what's the exponent on the bottom? Negative 9n. Did you see, did you see what I did? So I did 3 minus negative 9n. So plus 9n. Okay. Equal 6 to the... Okay, and you can go from there, right? Okay, can you, so you just need to plus 9n? Yep. Yep. So when we have something where they've got the same base and the exponents are different and it's written as a division problem, you just subtract them. Oh, yeah. Because I did the other ones that have something like that, but I'm not sure what I did that right. All right, get the ends to one side. Okay. So. I'm just getting the log. This one didn't need a log. Oh, because some of them didn't. I thought that they all yeah. logs. No, it did it did kind of a review, so some of the problems um are like the old ones where okay. we use the chart and then some of the problems are new. And this is one that's new. Or old, I mean. Yeah. It's old. Okay. Did that make sense how I went from here to the next step? I just subtracted my exponents. Okay. So I have not made an answer key, but you don't need one because you have the little answers. Back here. Look at how peaceful Tupac looks. He looks so peaceful. You know why. You know why he's so peaceful? He probably just did a math worksheet. I mean, it depends on the math worksheet. Yeah, you're not Tupac. But also, maybe it was just an addition worksheet. Maybe he's just listening to me some music doing some addition. Yes.